All my life, I've wanted to become a firefighter. I've always looked up to those who protect and serve our country. Ironically, I'm also involved in one of the most controversial sports in the entire world. My name is Ryan Gonzalez, and I am an MMA fighter. I'm studying fire science, um, trying to get my degree in fire science and my degree in um, sports medicine. That's kind of uh, what I'm pursuing right now. I'm trying to get my degrees, it just looks better. And, um, it's better to have a degree in something. So why not fire science, right, if I want to be a firefighter? We are on our way to um, go uh, to Mario's gym, which is a uh, guy I met over at Fight Academy. I hope to uh, improve my uh, agility standing up and my hand speed coordination. Obviously, it doesn't happen overnight. My name is Marlon Canales. Uh, honestly, I met him last week. But he's a really nice guy, man. So that's why I was like, you know what? Let's train, dude. I, I absolutely. I, I like the camaraderie in the sport. And a lot of people don't understand that. That in MMA, there's a camaraderie. Because like I said earlier, is those guys that are, think badass, that they're badasses out in the street, when you put on a spar and you actually get hit, that flies out the window. And then you actually develop a rapport, a friendship, and a camaraderie. Almost like, almost like a family ambience, I would say. And you, once you start getting real comfortable with the guys, it's like you can hit each other, knock each other's teeth out, get a black eye. At the end of the day, you're friends. Everything's cool. That's what I love about this. Man. First, Terrence Mario for the first time last week. Um, he, showed, he, he was giving me a lot of attention. You know, he wasn't, you know, like ignoring me or, you know, he, he focused a lot of attention on me, which is I like that a lot. Was, you know, some of the things that we worked on together. You know, he, he warmed me up really good um, with with the mitts. Got my shoulders and, and my arms feeling loose and warm me up really good with, uh, with with the mitts. And then we did some really great exercises to to warm up rolls and push-ups and Muay Thai, Muay Thai knees, um, all different kinds of you know wrestling uh, stretches and all all different kinds of things. You know he warmed me up, awesome. He stretched stretched us all out perfect. He's got a great little. Uh, Regiment going, you know, and then we also we sparred for the remaining half hour. I sparred with uh, like you know his, his prodigy that he's training and some of the other fighters they got, you know, there. So it was it was good times. It was, it was fun. So he definitely uh, put me through a good workout and you know showed me what I needed to work on and what I need to watch out for and how I can improve on it. He improved already. I saw an improvement already. I can tell that. I mean, he's got he's got hunger for it. He really likes the sport. Anytime somebody asks me or any other instructor that just loves the sport, I'd, I'd invite them down anytime. So we're going to be training more often. So. I'm very proud of Ryan no matter what he does, and I'll, I've told him I'll always support him. Um, it's hard for a mother to see her son fighting, any mother to see her son fighting. Um, and I've told Ryan many times, as long as they don't hit him in the face, I'll be fine with it. <laughs> Between going to school and, and, and working part-time and, and still making time to train, to come home and eat your dinner and spend time with your family, and make time for your friends, it, it, it is tough, you know, but you know, my friends and family know that I have a passion for it, so they understand it. Every fighter has a goal, you know? and. Uh... Ryan shows a tremendous amount of effort, and he has the eye, the eye of the fighter, you know, like you know someone is really into it. And you know, when that bell rings, I know Ryan's fighting for his life. And I'm telling you right now, when I'm fighting for my life, I'm, I'm not gonna lose. And I know that's how Ryan feels. And every single fighter has to go through that, you know, it comes down to how focused you are and how mentally strong you are, and that's, where your will comes from. So I believe, you know, Ryan has a lot of will, he has a lot of heart, and you know, he's got it. He's got what it takes. Ryan has been trying to get in 
trying to get into the wildland firefighting and he's so far passed everything. He had his physical, he had his uh, written test, he had his interview two days ago or three days ago. Still no email from him, so I'm checking right now if they emailed me and I'll find out right now if they did if I got the job. We are on our way to Vegas uh, to my grappling tournament. <laughs> well, I uh, thought you were having one out here, honey. Oh yeah, November at the high. I told you that. Yes. What's this Las Vegas thing? Um, maybe competing this Saturday in Las Vegas. This Saturday? As of now, I'm waiting for a phone call from my fellow fighter to let me know exactly where it's at. I'm pretty sure it's at the convention center, but he's gonna let me know where exactly where it's at. Tomorrow, we're gonna get up, or I don't know if you guys are, but I'm gonna get up around 9 o'clock, stretch, do some jogging, get my body warm, put the iPod in. Uh, we'll be in a different world. So, I didn't get in the wildland, so now I'm a full time student. Um, I got Fire Academy lined up. Got my flight lined up in November, and um, I'm also probably gonna get a job working on an ambulance company for a few months. So I have all this lined up, but I didn't get in Wildland. Uh, we're coming up on the weigh-ins right now. Uh, um, I gotta be at uh, 150 to 159 which I should be perfectly fine at that weight because I'm pretty sure I'm like 155, 156 right now. And then we're gonna get food because I'm starving. Oh. What's going on, man? I can, pre I can still register today, right? Yeah, go yeah. on a registration form right here. Jump in that line. 80. Thank you. Thank you, man. Tomorrow, you're gonna show up at 10 a.m. Okay. for the rules meeting, and then you're gonna you're gonna just wait for your division to call. Great, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Good luck, buddy. Thanks, guys. Good. Midweight. Yeah. I'm actually, I'm actually weighed less than I thought.